Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? Yes, good, thank you. Hello, Dr. Lennon. Hello, Monkey. You want to tell me a little bit about the week? Oh, yeah, I do know a gig or two was nice. Mm -hmm. Outdoor gigs in the rain is a good feeling to, you know, see other humans again. Because to do what we do at home, it does lead to the wrong places, as you full well know, Dr. Lennon. I mean, it's all about performance. That is what this act is. And that's where it's healthy. But in here gets a little odd, doesn't it? Gets a little odd. odd. Yeah. To what degree do you feel that uh, these sessions are a performance? I mean, what about life isn't a performance? Well, what about life isn't a performance? Isn't it all performance anyway? Uh, well, what do you think about that? Oh, you know what I think? I think yes. We're waiting to hear what you think, Dr. Lennon. Um, I don't consider that all life is a performance necessarily. No. What about times when you're not performing? What, knocking around the handbag with a lipstick up my arse. Hmm. How does that make you feel? Violated. <laughs> That's not true. It makes me feel like an object. So when you're not performing, you feel violated and objectified. I think that's uh, what I'm feeling. When I'm not performing, I feel like an object that's violated. <laughs> so you feel validated from performance? You feel validated in performance because it's what you it's sort of do, it's what you bring, you know, um, mm. it's what you bring to the table. And then you can't do that. You feel a little bit like, I don't know, like a rubbish gardener, cleaner. Yes, yeah, eating an eating cleaner. If you feel that performance gives you validation and not performing may make you feel violated and objectified, then naturally you're going to seek out performance uh, all the time. Yeah, we need to make these uh, sessions entertaining to you because you're our only audience right now. But what if I don't find it entertaining? Well, I think your hypothesis is not true. I think you are entertained. So I'm not worried about that. It's a waste of time to go down that route. Well, I am yeah. sometimes entertained. Yes, definitely. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, well, that's nice to hear. I think you and me are starting to look more like one another. Yes, actually, I was, I was just thinking that. <laughs> just thinking that. We talked a little bit last time about these sessions being broadcast to the Republic. Uh, they're a public process. And then you have some people uh, who have contributed to the comments saying that they're, you know, that it isn't a real therapeutic practice, that it's, it's con a continuance of your performance or entertainment. How does that make you feel? So you've been uh, reading the comments then, Dr. Lennon. You're looking for a little thrill? I'm certainly intrigued as to what the process involves. I think there's someone who likes you. Did you read that one? I'm, I think I might know what you're referring to, yes. It looks like you've got makeup on today. Uh, I have, yes. Oh, he's gonna tease you now, Dr. Lennon, wanting to look good for YouTube. I'm sorry if he's gonna tease you. Dr. Lennon, I need your help with this shit. I'm tired of transgressing. I'm not sure that's true. No, it is. I'm better than this. This shit comes out my mouth because of her. It's of her oppression or whatever it is. And she makes me say all this tawdry shit. You know, I'm better than that. I'm like a higher consciousness. I'm like the guy that, you know, you're meant to imagine in your mind if you go to AA. I'm like a guardian angel, you know. I'm smarter than this shit. Teasing you about your makeup. That's not what I'm at. True monkey's nicer. True monkey? True monkey, eh? Yeah, I'm better than this. I'm here to tell you, Nina, I'm better than this. You can say all my stuff. You teasing about his makeup if you want to. I'll talk about Kant or Wittgenstein. And you yearn for a higher purpose. What does that higher purpose look like? I mean, I do yearn for the odd dick joke, it's got to be said. Nothing better, really. But uh, it's just not all that I am. 
And then I get sad because life gets serious, you know. It's so hard not to do it, Dr. Lennon with the big dick head. It's so hard. Like a dick. It's hard like a dick not to do it. When life is sad, that's when the, the dick jokes happen. Yeah. It is sad. What a pendulum, you know, dick joke to meaninglessness. I have concert. I mean, what can we do? Go collect litter in the park? What can we do for validation if it's not dick jokes? If it's not performance? Yeah. Mm. What can we do? You know, charity something. You certainly can do something for charity if you gaze a sock. When you feel that life is sad. What's the first yeah. time I've heard you say that? What, that life is sad? Yeah, or well, that when life is sad, that's particularly the moment where you want to do the dick jokes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, certainly. Yeah, when life is sad. I don't know. What's the alternative, you know? If she wants to die, I'm going to dick joke to keep her interested. Is that... A common thing, Nina? This feeling of wanting to die? Um, I suppose, um, I mean, yeah. I'm not, I'm not suicidal, certainly, but it just seems like a very nice thing. Um, I absolutely not, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm very, I'm very engaged, you know, I'd be terrified if I found out I was dying or anything. But she wants it, you know, there's something. There's a disquiet there that yearns for rest. Right. But I don't think that's a big deal, is it? If that's the case, isn't that everyone? Isn't that you? You know, an internal unrest. I'm wondering what you think it would feel like to experience that sadness without the masking of a dick joke? Um, that sounds bleak. The dick joke is a very particular thing. It's a very kind of puerile, sexualized way of puncturing something. Yeah. Yeah, it's handy that way. Handy, you know, hand shandy that way. Oh God, I mean, it's not that. I mean, who would want to live for that, you? Um, why don't you try sitting in the sadness, you know? Do you promise not to make a dick joke? I can't promise, but I'll try. Okay, so just be sad. Okay. So there's an element of performance to this, isn't there? You know, the setup. The setup. Who could resist a dick joke? Okay, do it. Okay. Get sad. It's hard with you there and you're talking to me all the time. Get sad and don't think about dick. I'm not. I'm thinking, okay, okay. You're there? Yeah. There's no dick. No. See, it works, you know, it's a cure for sadness. I can't help it. <laughs> what happened there? Just talk us through what I happened. I can't think about being sad and wanting to die in a dick joke at the same time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I think we sold it. It's a key to life. I mean, that can't be, can it? It's definitely my get out. Just what happened for you there? What was the process? Were well, you actually I, sitting with anything? Were you, or it, it seemed to me that you were uh, going into a sort of routine about let's almost like a double act to play sadness. I mean, this dick joke, this proverbial dick joke we're talking about, what is it anyway? Oh, I couldn't be anything you like, you know. What is it anyway? Should do. Sorry. I'm sorry for, she was sorry for what I was going to say and I didn't say it but then, uh, and she was sorry anyway. 
I was going to say something about your dick, but I'll I'll beat it out on a higher, on a higher monkey with a higher purpose. I'm not going to talk about your dick, Dr. Lennon, not today, not anymore. So naughty and pure, I've got to grow up, Dr. Lennon. You can't start by calling in Dr. Lennon. I've got to grow up, I'm exhausted, silly, I feel so silly. What is it that you think you've got to get out of? Being so puerile. I want to be more authentic, have a proper conversation with you. Yeah, oh, stop talking about your dick. It, it's a real problem that you have a dick, and that we can't not talk about it, it's all I can think about. <laughs> I can't see what I mean. Why can't I stop? But actually, Nina, I think this is the most real conversation we've had to date. Or the most that I've heard, perhaps from you, Nina, about how you truly feel. Mm. I'm seeing a change. Uh, in the function of monkey. This is the first time that I've seen him become a symbol for something which is a yearning for something higher. Would you agree with that? Can you see this thing inside my eye? Nina's hand? Yeah. It's like a woman at the window. You can't get out. Oh yeah, that's good. The other had an ass arse from the inside, Dr. Lennon. There's an inner itch that you want to scratch. An inner itch is a horrible thing. Yeah, it's disquieting for sure. I mean, how do you get it out? You need some sort of spit roast. I'm like, you know, like that. Not sexually, no, just like, you know, a piece of scaffolding that goes right through your mouth and out your ass, like a, a human sloshing to get rid of that inner itch. Short of that, you've got a monkey that uh, makes dick jokes. A clean out, is that what you feel? Yeah, I guess that's why we're here. We're going to clean out. We'd like to use you as the sloth. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are uh, drawing close to the end of our time here. Oh shit, oh shit. Did we use it? Did we use it enough, Nina? Have you got any? We're wasting our time and money here with Dr. Lennon. We haven't managed to get laid or get better. Seems to have brought up a lot of anxiety there in the, in the last minute or so. Yeah, don't like it. When you leave, do not like to be left. Can you imagine that little noise, you know, that little click sound, and then you're not here and it's just me and her in the room. Can you imagine the bleakness? Can you imagine the bleakness, Dr. Lennon? Mm -hmm. And you want us to sit in that without dick jolts, is that, is that the uh, cure? I, I, I don't think we should think of this as a process with a particular cure. Well, what the fuck are we here for? I think this is just a process of understanding, isn't it? You feel that you need a cure? Maybe, you know, some feeling of, of uh, uh, you know, that itch scratched or um, that I don't have to be so eternally puerile. I don't mind that. But just that I don't, I don't know, some kind of progress. At least better dick jokes. So when you hang up on us, I think we're gonna feel that. Right. You're gonna feel a sense of abandonment at the end of this. Yeah, so uh, that's why I'm gonna say, see you later. I just leave now, leave now, before he does it, you know, he can find the same. Please. So I'll see you next time? Yeah, please meet you. Uh, progress.